Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Oztron and we're back playing screwdrivers. And for today's episode, we're going to take a look at a new aircraft that I've created and been kind of experimenting with. And then also a drag car that I accidentally created at the same time while trying to create an aircraft. So we're going to look at, look at one of those and maybe you guys can actually help me figure out some issues with it because, you know, it it needs it needs some refinement and it, it functions pretty well but it could definitely use some some ideas on maybe how to to get it to perform a little better uh, kind of same thing with my helicopter here this does pretty well but tends to you know kind of veer to the left or steer to the left for some reason so i'm not really sure why but seems to be something to do with the planetary gears and I find that sometimes the planetary gears just make things weird sometimes in this game. Now, I know this is a car game. It's not, you know, for the most part, it's not really set up for flight just yet, but it seems like everybody's making a lot of, a lot of airplanes and, and aircrafts and, and various things like that using spoilers and, and some of the downforce components to the game, which is kind of cool. You know, I like doing that too and just taking the game to its limits and figuring out what we can do with everything that we have available in the game. So I wanted to kind of go over one of these new crafts that I that I created. And then also we'll we'll do some more of the tech tree career path also and see if we can get a little further down that now to understand how to do it. <laughs> but but let's take a look, let's land this thing and let's take a look at the new aircraft. So let's go to our garage. And I have a whole bunch of things here. So let's look. I think this is the latest one calling it the dragonfly. So we'll go into the build mode so you guys can see it. So basically what I did, and it's it's really kind of a stripped down version of my drag car. So if we go back to the garage, we can see my drag car right here. That's one of them. I have a, I have a bunch of them, but I'm not sure which is the latest version. I need to name these and kind of put versions on them. But yeah, so I think, yeah, I think this is the drag car. So this is kind of weird. I know it's like, you know, it's it's a it's a propeller based drag vehicle. And I know it's kind of weird having these weights way up there. It doesn't seem to make sense, but it just actually helps bring the the center of thrust up a little more in line where where along with the center of gravity as well, in line with the with how the propellers are pushing a car. So it tends to want to push the vehicle down, which kind of forces it into the ground and makes it run slower. And so if we can kind of release some of that pressure by moving the center of thrust up a little higher and then the center of gravity kind of a little more to the back, then it makes us more like a straight arrow going down the track. And so this setup, you know, although it's kind of wonky looking, it, it does actually work pretty well and got us into the, the four second range on the track and got us pretty fast. So now I, I created another one i'll show you guys that one here in a second but as you can see well actually if we go back to that you can kind of see like the general shape of this right so i used the same kind of setup that i have here and i ended up stripping it down and i made this with it and just turned it around so you can hit like number four key right so this is kind of a similar setup so basically i just replaced the ladder bars that were up front and basically you may turn them into this. I don't know if they're really called ladder bars. Those are really something else, but the frame rails that were up front, they were, I removed those to save some weight and just use these little pins with the little, what is that thing called? I always forget what that thing's called. Where the heck is it? Yeah, hinge connector. So you have to have one of these on if you're gonna use the little axis pieces here because these little pieces will just rotate inside of a, a regular you know block or whatever so if you try to connect one of these it the, that piece will just rotate so you have to use either this piece or that piece to stop it from turning so and it also will actually translate the the turning into the end piece without like spinning the whole vehicle if you had something you know attached to this so kind of kind of weird but you know you have to play with it and get, get an idea for it so that's essentially what's going on here this is just really a support beam for the this is the tail of the vehicle so let's turn it back around like that 
And and so in the drag version, you know, we were pushing this way, you know, towards towards the back. That was so now I actually have it like more as like a normal prop or propellers on an airplane. And so this pulls us through the air and then we have these little fins on the side to kind of help us glide through the air and then have a little tail piece back here, which kind of helps stabilize the, the rear mass of the vehicle and kind of balance it out a little bit. And then in the front or in the way, well, yeah, I guess it's in the front. Uh, we have, or I have the, these two motors here, which are on these gears and they, they kind of use this counterweight to rotate the vehicle and give us roll to the gain to the, to the, you know, this crazy machine <laughs> to, to the aircraft. And, and so that actually works pretty well. And then we're using kind of the natural, I guess, I, I, I don't know if it's like the natural steering or whatever in built into the game so like say for example you jump your car and it, while it's in mid flight you can actually control how it lands by just you know altering i guess the mass of the vehicle somehow magically through the keyboard so if you just use like you know a and d or s and w or whatever while you're in midair it will allow you to you know adjust your vehicle while you're flying so whatever that mechanism is is what we're using to pitch the plane up and down. So I did actually have another one of these, you know, set up where it was basically using the mass of this rotational mass to try to pitch the plane up and down, but I just could get it to work. And there's something strange sometimes, like when you're, when you have, when you're using like electric motors for whatever reason, you can't have, and this, I think it was a current bug in the game, or maybe, maybe it's just my problem, I don't know but I can't seem to have like an odd number. I have to have an even number of everything. So I have to have four planetary gears and I have to have, you know, even numbers of motors. So if I have, I can't just have a third motor turning all of this. That would, that would be too easy, I guess. So I have to use two and it's kind of weird. So I'm not really sure because I don't seem to have that problem. If we have everything on the same drive line, it seems like, you know, you can, have an odd number of, of motors that are all doing what they're supposed to do. But when you start like messing with things and you're using like counter rotation, so like these blades turn inwards or outwards or whatever, and then these turn in the opposite direction so that it stays balanced, it's kind of things start getting kind of wonky. So <laughs> hopefully the devs can, can try to figure that out. Also with the planetary gear, sometimes they are not very stable inside of their mount and they just get all jiggly for some reason so you guys will kind of see what i'm talking about maybe maybe give me some advice if you guys have run into that i don't have any clearance issues i mean everything is there's nothing clipping into anything and everything's secured and connected i have these little strange pieces here these these laser cut pieces and those actually really came in handy and kind of helped me solve a problem because i was running out of how to connect the center section and put this rotational mass right here. So let me show you guys how this thing reacts and performs. It's actually pretty quick and I can get it to go about 600 miles an hour with the, I had, see, as you can see, there's a whole nother set of blades that I can put on this, on, on the back side of these blades. And, and so I can have a dual blade or dual propeller or whatever setup. And when I do that, the thing is just crazy fast. However, it just, it's really hard to turn because the the built-in mechanism for adjusting pitch and, and roll and all that is not strong enough to actually turn it at high speeds. So that's why I was like trying to use the rotational mass system to make it, you know, pitch and roll and do all that stuff. So, you know, I don't know, you, you guys you got any ideas on that or, or understand what the heck's going on? Maybe, maybe in future updates of the game, we can kind of address that, you know? So, or hopefully the devs will address it and we can, you know, fix it up or whatever, make it perform a little better. So let's take this into, let's just go to this map. I'm gonna launch it here. I have this connect, I have this on my controller, by the way, so you guys can see. So generally like the camera movement, I guess, is like what you can use to adjust pitch and roll of the vehicle, like kind of built into the game that's nothing you can assign keys to or anything like that but however i actually have a piece here that gives me a roll capabilities and then when i move the stick back and forwards on the on my left stick on the controller it would try to uh, deal with my 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 
pitch, you know, and, you know, up and down pitch. So I couldn't get that to work very well. So right now we're just using the built in mechanism for doing that. So if we just take off, it just turbos off. Now the camera gets kind of weird, but it flies pretty good. We're, we'll get up to about 250 or so. And if I use the built in game mechanics to steer, this is what it does. This is how it flies. So you see we're using a camera, so it gets all wonky. And really, honestly, the slower your vehicle goes, the, the better it will it will kind of perform, I mean, I guess. And I mean, it's not really a perform thing, but the better, you know, see how it's like I'm steering, I'm adjusting the camera and the plane is following the camera, but it's also moving the camera. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of crazy. So if we're going a little slower, that work, that function works a little better. And I, I could probably maybe I could slow down the airplane. Oh, we just went out of bounds. So I could just slow down the throttle and then maybe do it like that. Yeah. See, if we just slow the throttle down. So now I'm going like 80 miles an hour or whatever, 100 miles an hour. But you guys can see it's it's a little it, it does a little better, but we're still like the camera gets crazy. So I don't know, especially to the left, to the right. It seems like it seems like this game is kind of defaulted with a like a, a priority right. So like how the camera's placed and stuff. It's like, if I try to look left, it looks left. But when I look right, it actually steers the plane, <laughs> you know, and it's and it's still looking right, but we're actually steering the plane. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. So that's why I incorporated this other mechanism. So let's, let's oh, I'm gonna crash. Oh my goodness, oh. Let's get up here and let's see if we can fix it. There we go. All right, now let's fly. So you can see it's pretty stable. And, and then I got the roll, oh, I got the roll right here. So this is our, our torque roller. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm ash, I didn't do it right. Like I said, this thing needs some refinement. So let's get out of the trees. That's not gonna be good. Nope, nope. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, let's try this again. All right, so we have a pitch up and pitch down right here. And then I have the roll like this, and then we can roll back like that. Or we can use the camera's mechanism in doing it to do it. But if we, oh my gosh, I guess the out of bounds is really close right there. Let's do this so that we can actually, I can actually fly. I forgot like how small this map is because it resets you at the at the finish line or at the starting point every time. But if I start here, then we have all the space to work with. All right. So if I use the normal roll like this, then I can give it pitch and the camera will just follow and align itself nicely. See, see how that, that works? So it seems to do pretty good with the with the built-in pitch. Now if I just get, you know, I mean the built-in roll, now if I can just get the pitch to be very, real sharp and I don't have to move the camera around and I can actually just use my throttle, you know, I mean, not my throttle, but my stick on the left, my left stick instead of the right stick, because the right stick controls the camera on this game, then we could, then we could actually have a nice performing, you know, plane and do some cool stunts. And I can probably get it to go a lot faster while still having a lot of control, you know, because right now the control is, is, is difficult. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly okay. You know, like we have some control and I've gotten pretty good at, at flying it, you know, but it's, it could definitely be better because it's really the camera too. Like I'm having to, you know, always constantly adjust the camera while we're doing a maneuver because the camera gets it's wonky and then it corrects itself kind of you get lost in it so i don't know but if i let go of the throttle we, you can see it just kind of like floats down it's very well balanced you know and then that's this is pretty much it i mean it's kind of you know nice little setup when we let off the throttle we can really rotate really fast you know make some aggressive turns and then like even like go back like that oh geez so yeah like when we're off the throttle it really oh geez we can really like you know turn it do a whole little 360 and turn it like this like that and then whatever so that's another key key piece of this oh my gosh i'm i'm putting on I'm pushing all the crazy buttons <laughs> if you if you push down on your on your left or right control stick and use it as a as a stick like button it opens the map like that or it brings down like this little button help menu thing so kind of weird but but if you guys look at my 
vehicle or whatever my aircraft you can see how the planetary gears are like all jiggly wibbly up there so not really sure why they do that because like i said they're not they're not conflicting with anything unless it's Unless it's that little piece that's right on the corner and hit, it's hitting that gear, making it do that. But I don't know, it just seems to always do that. I feel like it has something to do with the big, I'm using that big large uh, gear to power these. And I feel like maybe that's over torquing the drives, but maybe, you know, maybe let's try something. Let's see, maybe it's these things right here. It could be, you know, I was thinking maybe it's this. So I don't really know how to fix that exactly. So I kind of need this piece here. This is what helps us stay kind of floaty and stuff. So I'm wondering, do I even need these right there? It's connected up, up in this area. So yeah, we have a connection right there. Let's just take that out and just see what happens if we just try it without those pieces. Maybe that'll fix it. Sometimes this game has like strange collision with components and stuff. Maybe, is it, did I fix it? Let's look at this again. Oh my gosh, that might, that may have been what it was. Yeah, I don't see them jiggling about. But sometimes they run smooth and sometimes they don't. But yeah, it does look like they're, they're like not doing their whole little thing. All right, get, come here, settle down. Settle down. Let's have a look at you. Let's just go straight up for the camera. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah, that's weird. I guess it was that that was causing the issue. It didn't seem to affect its performance necessarily. It just was looking like it was going to explode. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep, see, there we go. But yeah, it's definitely, a, oh no, see, they're doing it again. All right, so it, that wasn't it. I don't know why, but see, now they're all jiggly wibbly again. So who knows what is going on with that. So anyway, you guys let me know what you think. Um, got any suggestions on how I can make this thing have a better pitch capabilities, you know, and better performance while and still controllable. Like I said, I can get it to go 600 miles an hour, but you know, it's just not, it will not turn or steer and it just gets all bananas. So that could be just how I have, it could just be at the design issue at that point too. So. I don't know, but I feel like, you know, I I could I could get it to work, but I just need the, a decent pitch capability. So anyway, all right, so now let's look at the drag car and let's go here to the garage. And so I have, I called it the Sonic Boom car. I have two different versions of this. So I'm not sure, I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, this one is kind of buggy. <laughs> Let me rename that to uh, Buggy. <laughs> so this one, we'll call this 1.0. 1, 1 Let's get rid of the all the boom. Zero one. Okay, and then let's load this thing up. You guys can see what it consists of. So this is a crazy looking thing. This is basically what my air, this was my airplane at first and or aircraft or whatever you want to call it. And so this is like the first version of the Dragonfly concept and still has the, you know, counterweight in here for, for doing whatever, but we have engines instead of a electric motor. So this provides a lot more speed and power. And so this is basically my 600 mile an hour, you know, flying machine. If I can get the pitch, fix and then these were like training wheels on the bottom that i was going to set to drop off after after we launched but really don't even need that because once you once you you know hit the acceleration it just instantly goes up but yeah let's take a look at this thing we'll go to i call it the sonic boom because sometimes it breaks the sound barrier for weird reasons i don't know why but but yeah so here it is and then this is like it's like super quick but you can kind of see how it sits. So it actually has no front wheels and the little arrow pieces up front are actually, they actually pivot around. So you guys can see how, like how fast it goes. It'll get up to about, I think right up to 600 and 590, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. And then I, we can accelerate backwards. I think it actually goes faster backwards than it does 
forward sometimes. But we can't really, because the camera flicks around, It's it gets weird. So this was like, if you just turn this around and make it go backwards, this was originally my, my airplane. So if we start, move the camera over here and go like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so can't really see what the heck's going on. But you guys get the idea. We can actually <laughs> just bug around in the sky. So yeah, we've lost a lot of our propellers, so I don't know. But anyway, so let me show you like what this does on the actual long and straight to drag track. So let's go to not building. Let's go to free, change our track, and then we'll go to career, and then we'll go to the long and straight. Uh, so this gets a little weird, and I have to steer it. It's it's got steering in the back, but it's actually reversed. Oh shoot, I messed up. Yep. All right. Okay. But you guys can see like how fast it goes. Let's restart and see if we can get a better launch. It gets bouncy. These things just bounce around. Oh shoot, I messed up. I jumped the start. Let's try it again. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, takes a few times to get it going and keep it straight down the track. Oh my gosh, whoa. Well, that could have been my fastest time, no? All right, pretty close. What's my fastest time, 3.5? Wow. I just want the sonic boom. Can we get the sonic boom? Nope. Sonic boom time. Let's do it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. There we go. There's your sonic boom. <laughs> That's crazy. There's nothing left in my vehicle. All right. So there you guys go. That's my accidental drag car thing that, that you know, <laughs> uh, discovered while trying to create a aircraft so i don't know you guys let me know what you think of this thing and how wonky it is you know but it works so it's getting me quicker down the track and i tried lowering the wheels and stuff like that that does get me up to about 650 miles per hour but these start to hit the ground just they start to clip into the ground for even though it seems like it's far away it, it starts to clip and can't really we need like a, a a block that is in between we need a number six block so we have five you know and we have seven but no six and no four and those would really help out <laughs> so it's like everything is an odd number it's kind of weird but it, it does make sense so that you can have everything kind of centered into the in, in your vehicle and all that. But it would be nice to have some some odd pieces to help with like going up on your up and down on your creation a little bit. So I don't know. So let's go to the let's go to the tech tree. Let's go to our main menu. Okay. So we're at 26%. We have a hundred percent completion over here on the rank list deal. And now we're going to need to finish up the tech tree. Now that I understand what to do with these on this thing. So I guess we'll start with this vehicle here. Let's check out what we need to do as far as our career path goes. Uh, we need to try to get gold on these, but I think I need some better components. So we're going to have to do and beat the combustion king. We're, this is where we're at here at number four. And what we're doing is if we want to get the electric motor which i think we're going to need we're going to need to race between do the race between the rocks or up the hill and i i, I don't think we're there yet so we're going to have to beat this guy because up the hill is right here and race between oh here's race between the rocks we have to get gold there so man that is difficult to get gold on that one and i i, I need more speed so let's do the combustion king and see if we can just beat this guy and maybe that will that will help is there anything that we can do while we're down there we're, we need to do this this is the combustion king so once we beat him we'll be able to get that and then what else these that's i can't even tell what that says right there what the heck does that say <laughs> that's weird uh all right so let's just start with this one and see if we can get that component there 
and then we'll, we'll worry about that. I really want to get these tires, but we're going to need to build big rubber tire parts. We need to, yeah, so we have to get past the Combustion King. So that's the next, the next race. Let's do this and see just how well we can do this thing with. All right, so that's him right there. We got our six wheel vehicle. Oh, that's right, I could do a, make it two wheel drive. Oh, goodness, okay. It does seem like racing against the Monarchs seems to be easier than all the other challenges, you know? Kind of weird. It would You would think that it would be the most difficult out of all the other challenge races. But I don't know. It's just, I guess, how the devs have it right now. I can hear him back there, but sometimes they get out of nowhere, just come creaming right by you, so. Oh, oh, the tight turn. So I think this is just an uphill thing. All right, hold 36 miles an hour. All right. So far, we're doing pretty good, I think. He's not happy. I think we have a sharp turn coming up here somewhere. Now we're in the dirt. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, here's the sharp turn. Here we go. Oh gosh, I forgot about this. All right. Here's that air control I was telling you guys about. Whoa, whoa. Oh my God. He was all happy there. Oh my Lord. Uh, get up there. Come on. This, I will just go backwards. There we go. Oh, boy. Come on. We're way ahead of that guy, so... Is this the end? Nice. Smack. Oh, he's way back there. Holy cow. All right, so we got gold here, or tr rainbow colored. <laughs> All right, back in free drive, and let's go to build. Or no, we need to go to the menu, right? Let's go to the career thing. All right, so now we're in the serpentine circuit. We moved here, and we can do the long jump, which I think I'm going to have to do something with that one. All right. So, do we not win any parts out of that? I thought we were going to get this thing. Let's see. Car weighs at least 80 kilograms. Well, it, it's we're weighed 283 kilograms. And we beat the Combustion King. So, why did we not get this part? Right? We should have gotten that. So, this thing over here, we need to do the race between the rocks or up the hill. Let's do, let's try one of those because I really want this motor and car with at least two gears, which I have eight rear wheel drive will give us, what the heck is that? An engine. Okay. So we could go to the garage and disconnect this piece here, right there. And this should make us rear wheel drive, I would assume. So. Let's see if that will, yeah. All right, so that's activated green now. So we should get to those. Queen of quickening with a car weighing at least 80 kilograms, right? Or do we have to be under? That doesn't make any sense. Does this mean less than 80 kilograms? How is that possible? Okay, maybe, maybe that's the deal. Maybe, how much does this thing weigh? This one weighs 138. That one weighs two. But it doesn't it say at least? Let's see, let's go. Where was this piece there? All right, a car weighing at least 138, or no, 80 kilograms. I think we weigh 138, right? I don't know, is that a, am I reading that right? We weigh at least both of those numbers. So it says we're green for it. So I don't know, maybe, we'll, how about we'll just do, let's go to the career path. Let's do the, well, let's just start with this one. This is a ghost race. 
serpentine. All right. And see if we can just get gold on that. Uh, do we need to get gold on one of those? Is that the issue? I don't know. We're a real drive, though. Okay. Holy cow. These guys are fast. Okay. That guy's fast, too. I'm not very fast. Okay. Get the little e-brake right there. Yeah, I mean, I even have the big giant gear on here, too. <laughs> this is as fast as this little thing goes. So if I could just get silver or something. But everybody's passing me up like crazy. There we go. Take a little shortcut. And go around here. Oh, almost ran off the cliff there. So, I, I need to go look back at what we need. We need to get higher speed. How many laps we gotta do? Two? All right, let's knock out two laps here. All right, we're on the second lap. Right, I think we're coming up on the finish line. Oh God, that's terrible. That was like, I'm like the slowest dude here. Okay, so, yep, we'll come back to that. We got bronze. I don't even think we got bronze. <laughs> That's how bad we did. Jeez Louise. All right, let's go back to building and let's look at what the thing we have to do. So this, we need rear wheel drive. Well, it seems like we have, we meet all the stuff. We meet all the gears. So we need to do the quickening queen of quickening or the downhill adventure. And then over here, we need the downhill adventure or climb up the hill. Wait a second, didn't that say? I could have swore that said something else earlier. Uh, okay, well, that's weird. So let's see about, okay, here's race between the rocks. Okay, and if we hit T, this one is race between the rocks or uphill adventure, only electric engines build Electric 360 parts. X360, is that what that is? Yeah, okay, so I have that. So we're using with that, we meet all the requirements. And then we meet all the requirements for this. And we should meet all the requirements for that. So we need to do race between the rock. We're not gonna get it on those though. Okay, let's do that one. Race between the rock, or no, wait, what was it? Downhill adventure too? Oh no, it's up the hill. Okay, and this this one's downhill, and that one's downhill. So I feel like because this has a higher RPM, this might give us more speed. I feel like we need to do the downhill adventure and somehow get the gold. Or no, we already have gold. How is it I don't have that engine? Do I not have that engine? Let's go to the garage. Do I not have that? Oh, I don't have that engine. How is that? How do I? See, this is confusing me. Let's do downhill adventure. See what happens here. This one's tricky. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dang it. I gotta start over. Can't break anything on this, this initial part. Oh boy. Oh, easy. Okay. Takes me a minute to remember what the heck's going on with this thing. Okay. Oh my gosh, somebody's tearing up behind me. I can hear them. We're going to turn sharp here on the gas. I think 
Oh, we have this jump up here. We're going to have to survive somehow. Oh, 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 no. Dang it. Oh, we, we lost it. All right. Let me try to do this. Here we go. I think we got gold. Now, did we get anything? Okay, we got gold. Hey, there we go. Finally. Why didn't I give that to us the first time we got gold? Or maybe I, maybe my vehicle didn't meet the requirements, I guess. I don't know. All right, let me do this. All right, so now we did get the gas-powered engine. So in order to get this one, we need to do the race between the rocks or up the hill. So maybe I'll try up the hill. Maybe we'll swap out the two electric motors we have because we meet. We need just two motors with this one or maybe just one. I don't know. And see if we can add, replace these two electric motors because I think these are four horsepower. This one's 15. Oh yeah, and this gives higher RPM also. So let's take these two off. Let's replace it with this if we can. How are we gonna do that? So we need to be able to secure it. So that's going to be tricky. I guess we could do it like yeah, let's do it like this. Turn it around. Good. Can you turn around, please? Thank you. Whoa, get over there. I need to buy it. There we go. All right, so we can secure this thing like this. Put that little guy in right there. And then we'll just take this part. Actually, we need to put that there. And right that. And we need to put that part right there. We need more of those. Okay. Come on. And put this one like that. Copy that piece. And push it all the way over here, please. Can you go over there? There we go. Now put that there like that. Yeah, there we go. And now we need a we need a better color for all this stuff. Get some weird chrome blue, I guess. Come on. There we go. Alright, we got the chrome blue machine. And alright, so now we need to support that piece there. So that should be all good. Should be making more power now. Oh, wow. Holy cow. All right. <laughs> making a lot more power. We're at 50 horsepower and 26 on acceleration and 46, seven miles an hour. So let's try out the other career path. Oh, we got a new part unlocked for us here. Oh, what happened? We don't meet that one yet. Oh, Oh, it can only be electric engines. Shoot. All right. So maybe we'll do climb up the hill and get this part. Or I could probably do both with just the other thing. All right, let's do this. Let's go back. Garage. And all right, we'll take these off for now. Okay. And just we'll leave the other things there. Put in the other electric motors. Or I wonder if I could actually, can I afford two more of these? Oh, I can. Okay. So that means I can put two of these like that. So now we have four. Why is it like this one is not lined up with these? Why is that a thing? You guys see that? Like, how are all these perfectly lined up? And then this last one is off just a little bit. So weird. All right, so now we have this one back, okay, and that. This one is climb up the hill, and that one is up the hill. That's, no, this one's up the hill. Never mind. I thought it said climb up the hill. All right. Let's go to career. And there's up the hill. Or we could do the race between the rocks, but let's do up the hill because we should be able to get both. And it's just straight up the hill. So hopefully with all these dang electric motors, we should be able to do this pretty quick. Although our top speed is going to lack. Uh, 
All right, yep, definitely lacking in top speed. 15 second is the time, that's for bronze. Man, we get silver? Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, so. All right, well we did unlock that. So now this gives us a higher RPM, so we should have a higher top speed. All right. But the only problem with that is you can only use two of those. I mean, one of those without doing a bunch of crazy gearing. Let's go back to the build mode. And I did not get the other piece, though. So we got this, but I didn't get this. And I don't understand. Climb up. The, do we need to get gold? Oh, it says gain. Wait, no, it says gain bronze. We got bronze. And my vehicle weighs more than 80 kilograms. So gain bronze in a downhill adventure or climb up the hill. See that? It says climb up the hill. I could have swore that said up the hill earlier. Am I just out of it? Can I not? I don't sometimes I feel like my brain is fried. <laughs> See, why is that not? See, it's not changing. Look, it is not changing. Did I click it? I'm clicking it. And it says rapid rally now. So something's weird. Like. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to like. <laughs> and there has to be a bug because that said something that said, whatever I don't even say anything now what in the world's going on. Okay. Well, this is locked and I have no idea why. So I think, I think it's meaning for us to do climb up the hill because I keep seeing that there. So let's look, do we have that option over here? We have down, rock, drift, mud bowl. I think climb up the hill is way up here at the top, right? Yeah, it's right up here. So that can't be right. So I think the other the other option was when we went and hit T. See, it doesn't, it's not, it's not telling us what it's supposed to be. That that says. Yeah, these are all different, but that one doesn't tell us anything besides the weight. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just have to magically discover what that's supposed to be. So let's look at some of these other parts. We need some tires. So we need to get a game brawn in the Combustion King build build big rubber tire parts. Now, I think I have these. Okay, so big rubber tire parts. Let's go to E, go to the garage. I think that's one of the options. Okay, so let's remove these. And I think I have the big version of these tires. So we could I probably have to buy them. Yep. All right. So let's see. I don't have very much. Do I have enough to get four. Oh, crap. I don't. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's just use two for right now. And put two. wait. Oh, no. I need that. It needs to be rubber. So. Okay, so T. All right, let's try to do a race that we're good at here. Not use these big tires. Now it says new again. It's so weird. Oh, it's way down here. Okay, a minimum top speed of 60, a minimum top speed of 61. And rock and drift. Okay, so maybe. We'll look at that. Where is rock and drift? There it is. Oh, that's that hard one. Holy cow. Okay. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. Well, I did the uh, rock and drift thing and we got that part. So I got silver somehow. Did terrible on this, this track. <laughs> uh, okay. Didn't even talk through it. It was so bad. Let's go back to building. All right. So we got that piece. Now, if we go back to here. I don't really know what, how in the world to get that. See, now that says rapid rally and double eight. But I don't know if that's really what it is. Okay. So we need, do I have enough to buy two more big tires? Because I really want this set of tires right there. Just one more. All right, guys, got my big wheels now. So, geez, that was, that was crazy. All right, I had to go do a couple of races just to get some cash to buy them. So they don't fit on the back over here. So we're just going to go with four wheels instead of six. 
So let's see, what does that get us over here? All right, oh yeah, okay, so now we have the ability to win the larger tire. So what do we need? We need to do the Combustion King or Rapid Rally. So probably Combustion King, I would think. So let's do that. It seems like, also I noticed that when we're in this screen, where is that screen at again? Uh, let's go back here. It's like the words are off the screen for some reason. So I'm not really sure. Seems like there's some optimization needs to be done there. So let's do the Combustion King. Yeah, see now we have the little tire that shows up there. Oh, we also have the Rapid Rally tire there too. But let's that's at the higher level. I'm struggling with that. So let's do this right now. Get us some cash. See how nicely we can do this race. Get some better tires. This little guy handles pretty good right here. I mean, we're only going 47 miles an hour, so. Okay. Doing good. Oh, a little top heavy now. Okay. He's not very happy. It is our tires. Yeah, so it shows us what's we're gonna win over there on the right. Unlockable parts. Yeah, it's so weird with that other part. I think there's an issue with that thing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what race we need to do. Let's do this. Nice little drifty. Another little hit the e-brake there. Oh yeah. I'm gonna oh god, bouncy bouncy. Okay, let's take off over here. Holy cow. Nice landing. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, how did we survive that? Go this way. Oh. All right. Oh my gosh. These bigger tires help keep us together. Might actually break my previous record. Not record. <laughs> previous time. Oh, there. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's my old, my personal best. All right. So we should go get the tires now, right? Yay! All right. Cool. Nice. Let's go back to the garage. And then we'll yank these suckers off. <laughs> I don't want those on. And now, oh shoot, I have to buy these, don't I? Dang it, every time. Let's see. Oh, I can only get one? Oh my gosh. Okay, so can I, un there we go. We'll just put those back and Let's go back to four wheel drive, I guess. And put that sucker right inside there. Come on, you can do it. Get in there. Come on. Oh, why is it not going in there now? What in the world? Oh, it's because of those motors. These guys right here. I see. Okay, so those are taking up too much space. So I wonder can we use the little gas powered motors now? And use these. Uh, switch that over here. Okay, come on. I think that'll fit. Just gotta get it over there so we can mount it. There we go. All right, so does this give us, we're gonna have to mount this up. But yeah, we do get a big boost and anything on the tech tree though, we still have this part. So what do we need? What other part do we want? We need some better suspension and probably some spoilers, but I can't tell that's all messed up. The font mountain trail and escape with something or escape. I don't know what that says. And also we need a transmission. So in order to do the transfer, we need big gear parts. Oh, do I not? I thought I had a big gear part, don't I? Let's look here. Isn't that, is that a medium gear? That might be a medium gear. Dang it. 
Okay, so we need to do big gear parts. How could we do that? So we'll need to raise our vehicle up in order to use the big gear. That'll get us accelerating. And that will get us, now if we do that big gear, we'll get the transmission. So we can start making like a two speed setup. So well, that'll be good. And we got the better tires. So we don't, these pieces are not very useful. This one is. The weights are not gonna be super useful. And so we're gonna look at getting this two speed. So let's do, let's make, let's see, let's do something with the big gear. And we gotta do climb up, what was it? Shoot, didn't see what it said. Up the hill or climb up the hill. So both of those, or either one of those. So let's do climb up the hill. And let's just yank all this off. After I just put it on. And we're gonna need to put a big gear right where all this is. Right there. So let's take that out. We need to go up another block. We'll just do this. Okay. And I can't remember how many blocks tall we need to go. So let's just stack on another one of these guys. That'd be just one more block. Can't remember. These guys, this is all in the way. We got to take this out. Forgot. Okay. And let's just put a gear here. Oh, I need to buy it. Dang it. How much is that thing? Okay, good. Oh, no. Don't buy another one. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So now we have our big gear part. And let's see. I still want to try to keep the weight. Actually, you know what we could do? We could put a long gear in right here. Did I just delete that? Okay. But what's the size? What size do I have? That's I just have a seven. Okay, so let's put that. Oh, get back. Get in there. Okay, so this should allow us to put some engines in the back and some engines in the front. And so we could do a combination of gas. So we'll put that there. And this one like that. Then we'll put one, two, three of those. And then now we need a block to lock all that in. So let's see. Where am I going to put a block at? Okay, there's a block there. And now we need to connect that to everything. Do not have a lot of connecting points over here. All right, there we go. We got that connected, so now we just need a block like this. Okay, I'm just gonna part in right there. Now I gotta support these things over here. So that's gonna be tricky. I think we can just do the same thing. Okay, do it like that. Put this piece right there. Sure, why not? It's gonna be ugly. Oh, I don't have enough pieces for that. All right, there we go. This is not pretty at all, but it will get us by, I think. Okay, so now those engines are locked in. We have the electric motors locked in. We can't really put a tire right there. And we have the big gear, so we should meet the specs. We do not... Okay, previous. Oh, we have a lot of miles per hour now. Wow. Okay, so we can go kind of quick. We do not have as much torque anymore, of course. So, let's see what, what we need. All right. Oh, okay. So we have these available. All right. So we have our gear shifter and a piston. And what do we need? We need a long jump or the tower dive. And then we need the uphill or the climb up the hill. I would rather do the uphill. The climb up the hill is hard. So 
All right, let's see if we can do uphill. Let's go for that career. And then we have uphill right there. Okay, we got bronze there, so maybe we, maybe we can get a little bit more speed out of this. I don't know, we got the big chunky tires on and everything. So we need to probably, yeah, let's just see what we can do. Okay, oh, my whole thing's falling apart. That's not good. I forgot to support the center section, but we're still going. Not falling apart yet. Okay. Um, what did we get? We got a new record. Hey, we got gold. That should win us the part. Oh, wow. Did we just get 430 out of that? Oh, nice. All right, let's, let me go and play this part so I get free one. All right, so we got our transmission and got the up the hill points and then I bought all the tires that I needed for these these guys right here so let's get rid of this and finally put some decent tires on this thing our crazy block that we have all right let's go down controls on this thing all right put that there I should be able to get one there one right there nice there we go Building my little machine up, so. All right, so now, what does our power output look like now? Okay, so current is this one. Previous was the green. So we're doing pretty good on power. Top speed is 98. And our acceleration is not so great. But I think, I think also on that round, we got like an engine too. Yeah, so we got this engine. Of course, I have to buy that one. It's 240 things, man. So let me try something here. Okay, we got... Oh, look at all this stuff. All right. So I have the wheels. tight. Oh, we get the bigger wheels. And we can get this better suspension. And then I wonder what we need for this suspension. This is my favorite, I think. Yeah. So we need dirt. Small. Okay, we have to get these tires next. Build a wide carriage build wide carriage tire parts what the heck with these okay so i need to make make those how much are those things because that's the thing with this going down this tech tree path we have to really watch our our uh cash so we can spend it so let's go into here let's see how much those wheels are if i have them I need probably just four of them but I only have seven, seven bucks. <laughs> All right. Let me go try to make some cash on that uphill thing. All right. So I really want to get this suspension right here. So in order to do that, we're going to need to do the serpentine circuit with the wide car carriage tires. So I just went and did the uphill race. Got some cash that because I know I can do that and get gold every time. So let's go into here. Let's remove these tires after I just put them on. But this is gonna be our, these are gonna be our main tire for all our races coming up. So we need to put, no, back up. I don't wanna buy that. Don't waste no money on this one. All right. And let's put that there, that there. What, they're blue. I didn't know we could paint those. <laughs> okay. And then we need to remove some parts on here and resupport some pieces. Because my thing's falling apart. All right, so got my little wide wagon wheel things on here and supported my center section so it doesn't fall apart. And let's go to the career path. Looking for a serpentine circuit. So this one right here. Oh, we get a longer piece too. So let's do this one. This is the one that I sucked at, but now I can go a little bit quicker. So maybe, maybe we'll do better on this now. Of course, with wagon wheels, it's going to suck. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, we got some speed. Oh my gosh, we are slippery. 
Oh boy. Okay. At least we have some speed over everybody. We just gotta be careful around all these turns. Because these tires are not very grippy. Oh my god, that dude's right on my tail. If we can just stay ahead of that guy, we'll be good. No, 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 no. I just said stay ahead, man. Oh no, don't flip over. What the biscuit? Gosh. Jeez. One mess up like that. What's it flipping over for? Brakes, brakes. I gotta catch up somehow. I think we just need bronze though, in order to get the parts. So, I'm pretty confident we're gonna get bronze or something. Oh my gosh, what are you spinning out for? Get over here. Maybe I can catch him on the straightaway. Here we go. Or I guess it's really not a straightaway. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just fly off the cliff. How these tires, or whatever these are. We call these tires at all. Okay. And we're doing okay. I just hate missing my position. They're just right there. Come on. Oh. Man, if I could just had a flat spot. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oof. Could have just gone straight right there. There we go. Okay, well, I mean, current time 28. That has to be pretty good, right? 228? No, that's not. We just got bronze again. Hopefully, we got our part. We got the tires. So that's good. Did we get the suspension piece? No. How do we get the suspension? Oh, we have to do. What is, we have to do the other thing. So go to the garage. And so we got the tire, we got this too, which is nice. And in order to get the suspension piece, we need to do the long jump with the dirt small wheels. So we need to buy some of those. So I wonder, let's go here and let's go to this, go to our tires. Do I have enough to buy four of those? I do. All right, so let's do this, swap these out. These are dirt tires would be way better than those things. Okay, we can put those back there and get on there like that. All right, so now we should qualify for that part and the big tires. But we need to do the long jump and the long jump. Where is the long jump on the career thing? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Let's try it, man. Let's go. We can get a lot of parts. This will probably be the last last little thing. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have enough. I need I need a different vehicle. <laughs> I think we can back up on this and get a little bit more momentum. So let's try this. Might need to build some wings on this thing. Uh, silver. Oh, we almost got to there to the gold. We got silver. So this should win us a bunch of parts. So we got the new suspension piece. Nice. The big tires, I'll never use those. And that might use that. And oh, finally got that piece. Okay, jeez. All right, that's awesome. So go back to the garage. And what do we get? So. No. All right. We, we got that piece now. We have our shifter. And then now we have the suspension piece right there. So finally can swap out these things. Oh my gosh. I don't like these suspension pieces at all. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to... I don't know if I can put that in right there. So we'll swap out all this with these. 
Should have enough to buy these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. Almost. Okay. Let's grab one. We'll just put it there. I'll have to make a makeshift holder for that. And then put that there, that there. Oh, I don't have enough cash. Or, or do? No. Oh, okay. I need to support this side. So we can just put this piece here like that. And then we'll go and use that. There we go. And let me go get some cash real quick. All right. So I got the other suspension piece. So now we're all good with my favorite suspension. And we have the little chunky tires there. And now we need to work our way down this path. Or actually, I'd like to go and start working our way towards the spoilers. But man, the text is wonky over here. So something about the mountain race. Maybe I, I might be able to look on the actual career path and see. It might be up here. Okay. No, I guess not. So, all right. Well, we'll work towards that on the next video. But right now, I think this is a good stopping point. These are a lot, a little harder than I expected. Definitely harder on the tech tree method than doing it through the, the other career path. So you got to really kind of think about how you want to build everything. So I like how this is working out. So this is our vehicle as of right now, but not too exciting. And we'll clean this up as we kind of get more more cash to build and buy more components and make our vehicle a little quicker. I need to save up and maybe do a couple of races to get a little bit more of the credits so that um, we can have more gears to build a, a transmission. Because that's going to be the next stage in order to get our speed up and our torque up all at the same time. So, so anyway, well, appreciate you guys watching the videos and definitely let me know what you think about, you know, early in this uh, episode where I showed off the the airplane or or what aircraft whatever you want to call that crazy dragonfly thing and let me know if you have some ideas or concepts on how we can make that uh steer a little better while flying you know mainly pitch up and down would be a big help on that and just might be something that's just quirky at the moment till the devs add more features into the game to allow us to have a little bit better air control and stuff like that so so anyway I think in upcoming videos, I'm going to start highlighting some of the other people's builds builds and stuff. There's a lot of really great builds out there, and I'd like to showcase some of those. And I already covered one with the giant super airplane thing. I can't remember what it was called or the guy's name at the moment, but I'll make sure to cover that in more detail because they really had a lot of features on us. It's, it's one of the top builds in the Steam Workshop. So anyway, well, with that, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like and subscribe on the video. Hit the little bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.